Hours, the San Diego City Council will tackle a gun storage ordinance, which would try to make it harder for children and other people to get their hands on guns. The safe storage of firearms ordinance would require that guns must be stored in a locked container or disabled with a trigger lock, except when in the hands of an authorized user. So put simply, guns would have to be under lock and key or disabled when stored at home. City Attorney Mara Elliott proposed the plan early last month and said it would help stop campus shootings, lower chances of teen suicide and accidental domestic violence. Supporters of the bill say safe storage is the most effective way to reduce firearms deaths and injuries to children. Now on average, over 3,000 people die from accidental drownings, mainly kids, every single year. And less than 500 people die from accidental shootings. And that's including the accidents that storage laws would not have prevented. So I have to ask, when was the last time someone was thrown in jail for six months because a child died in a home swimming pool accident? Exactly. Firearm safety and responsibility is paramount to me. And look, I understand wanting to incentivize people to be responsible gun owners, but locking me up for not locking my gun up when I'm at home is not how you do it. No one accidentally shoots themselves on purpose. It's a lack of firearm education, not storage laws, that cause a lot of these accidents. And if I'm going to be honest, there is no epidemic of accidental gun deaths that warrant throwing people in jail for not locking up their guns in their homes. Personally, I don't like being legally mandated to lock up my guns. The whole point of me having a firearm as a firearm owner is to be able to have a gun at the ready whenever I need it. Things don't go down in real life like they do in the movies. In the movies, the criminal will send a note that he's coming, show up, ring the doorbell before he kicks in the door, and then start monologuing about how he's coming to kill you as he slowly walks up your staircase. In real life, you have seconds to get to your gun in a home invasion situation. Not to mention you're usually caught by surprise. All of the odds are already stacked against law-abiding gun owners. And that's my problem with gun storage laws. They only account for the possibility of accidental shootings, but don't account for the reality of a defensive shooting, which is more likely to happen than an accidental shooting. Watch this video and tell me if you think having a gun locked up would have helped or hurt me in this situation. Keep in mind, I knew what was about to happen and I still felt like I didn't have enough time to get to my gun fast enough. I know a lot of people with kids who have unlocked guns around their home because they teach their kids from an early age about gun safety. As a result, they don't worry about their kids touching their guns without their permission. And even if those kids do find those guns and do touch them, they know how to operate the firearm safely. If you have guns in your home and have kids that you don't trust, by all means, go out, buy a safe, and keep your guns locked up. But we don't need laws telling us to do this. Quite frankly, in a world with over 400 million guns, there's a strong chance your kid is gonna come across one at some point in their life. So if you ask me, I think the smartest thing to do is to teach these kids what to do when they see a gun and how to understand and operate firearms safely. If we stop focusing on vilifying guns to push gun control and focus more on educating the public at large about guns and gun safety, the number of negligent gun deaths would plummet. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and click the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical. Because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive.